All right, today I want to talk about a concept that I learned uh, about eight years ago from Cameron Harold, who's the former Chief Operating Officer at 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Cameron, I think, was at, with the company when they were about $5 million in revenue and helped grow them to over $100 million in revenue. So his story really resonated with me as it sort of mirrored my journey that I've been on with Service Express. And here's a concept that I, uh, that I got from Cameron. R, R and D, rip off and duplicate. So right, you think of R and D and at most companies you think of um, research and development. Well, Cameron taught me this. In fact, now I've R and D'd it from Cameron and I use it all the time around Service Express, which R and D for us really stands for rip off and duplicate which means there are a lot of great ideas out there in the world. If you're reading business books, if you're on Twitter uh, reading uh, thought leaders, if you're reading blogs, you're gonna find and see and read a lot of great ideas. You don't have to make them all up uh, on your own, whether you're a leader, an entrepreneur, a business owner, whatever whatever have you, right? Go, go get yourself in professional development, be reading, be listening, be looking around, and then R&D it. So much of what we do around Service Express I R and D from Jim Collins, good to great, built to last. Patrick Lencioni, the Advantage. Michael Gerber, the E Myth. These are all these are all materials that we've gone through as a company, and we've taken the concept out of them and applied them at Service Express. And so, you know, and not everything. I, I read those books, and I don't. It's not everything works for me, so I wouldn't say just blanket R and D. But as you're going through, or you're hearing thought leaders, hopefully stuff I've shared on our blog you can R&D, right? I'm sure not everything resonates with you, but hopefully some things do. And if they do, take them back to your organization and just think, how does that apply here? And a lot of what we R&D, we, you know, we don't take verbatim and put it right in. We say, okay, I love the concept. I see how they use it. Now I'm gonna tweak it a little bit for our culture or for our business or how it worked. And then I'm gonna implement it through here. And it's had phenomenal impact around here. So I think it's one of my one of my secrets, one of the key things I've done in my career is I've been able to R&D effectively, and, I'm, and I don't even try to hide it, you know? I mean, in fact, I'm giving credit to Cameron that he came up with it, uh, but now I've R&D'd his phrase. And so, but the key is you have to be in your craft. You have to be reading, you have to be learning, you have to be observing, you have to be networking, meeting with others, connecting your area with thought leaders, have breakfast, lunch, or beer, coffee, whatever it is, pick their brain. Uh, do this for do this for life. Do this for fitness. Do this for nutrition. Uh, do this for work-life balance. Uh, uh, speaking of uh, reading, uh, Tim Ferriss, uh, Tools of Titans. It's a book about this thick, right? And it's a comp compilation of podcasts that he's done with different thought leaders all around so many different subjects. I'm not even through the whole thing yet. But you read them, and, and through that book, there's some that mean nothing to me. I don't want to do anything with it. But there's been some really cool concepts in there that I've been able to R&D for business and for my life. So I encourage you to go out there and do it. Don't think you have to think of everything on your own. There's lots of great ideas out there. And if you come up with a great one on your own, share it so others can R&D from you.